Yes. Yes. And that is overlanding in its finest. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? It's been a minute since we did a video. Um, we just came out here to uh, the Greenwater area. Um, so we got on Highway 410 up here in Washington. Um, we're pretty much right near the uh, Natchez Trail. Um, we hit we hit some snow. We're just starting starting the uh, off-road part. So it doesn't look too bad. Um, about to air down and uh, go on a little adventure. Uh, there's a campsite like I don't know a few miles up that uh, we're trying to make it to it's got a beautiful view of Rainier uh, we actually camped there in uh, our Natchez trail video um, so just trying to go out there we're just doing a one night thing um, first trip of the season test out all the gear make sure everything's working as expected and and yeah so it's pretty much what we're doing At this point we'd only been on the trail maybe five minutes and I really couldn't get any traction because it was pure ice so we made the decision to turn around and try to find a campsite that was a bit more accessible. You know, not the, no no view really, but beautiful river. You know, as you guys saw, we tried to get up that trail, but we kind of knew it was going to be bad. Uh, we saw snowmobiles uh, going in there, so. Um, so yeah, we just came down maybe like half a mile. Um, we're not that far off the, the trail. We're not super remote, but um, you know, we found a nice little spot. The other option was to drive to the peninsula but that's three plus hours and it's just like whatever let's just camp here so yeah we're just gonna get camp set up and get cooking make a fire just hang out So, got a new phone and I forgot to log in to my uh, DJI 
uh, drone app. And so when you don't log in, you can only fly it like 96 feet up and like 100, and 100 feet away from you. So we're not getting very good drone shots. This is some behind the scenes Cascadia Overland, you know, or we're filming, but this is why we do these trips, you know, this is just the one nighter, like check all our stuff. Cause we would have been pissed if we set off for like a three or four day trip and like, oh, guess what? The drone doesn't really work. So yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Fucking champion! You just did that. It's pretty oh, hard to do oh. with an IBA. But winning! <laughs> Bomb rolling. Oh yeah. Oh. Some real sustenance. Mm-hmm. Woo! It is getting chilly out here. No, I think it's My God. Might be sitting in the truck. We got the fire roaring though. Yeah, it's getting cold. So I think it's like eight o'clock. Um but I don't know. We got thermals and tried out an electric blanket tonight and Got a buddy heater, so we'll see how it goes, but it's not, not too bad so far. Good morning guys. We just woke up here. It's starting to drizzle a little bit. So we're just gonna make some coffee and head out. Uh, we were gonna do breakfast, but Charles only lives like two hours away. So we're just gonna jet over there and, and do breakfast there and pretty much call it a wrap. Um, it was a good trip. Um, weather, weather was good till now it's raining. It's not terrible, but um, not as cold as I thought. Um, you know, we, we were only at, I think, we're like 2200 feet you know it was maybe in the high 30s last night at worst so it wasn't bad um we were gonna go up to 40 500 feet but obviously we couldn't get up there on uh, from the snow um you know we should have known better we saw snowmobiles and we're like oh well that might explain it um so yeah we're uh, just gonna pack up here make some coffee and get on the road i uh, appreciate you guys watching uh, we're we're going to do some uh, trips soon. Um, this was really kind of a field test for me. So, yeah, we'll uh, see you guys next time.